So we can see here, we've got a default structure for a Laravel application. And if we run our tests using the default Laravel syntax, PHP artisan test in this Laravel 7 application, it runs our example test from both our feature and our unit namespace. Now, the first thing we're gonna do to get up and running is install PEST. At the time of this recording, PEST is still in active development, but it's on the very cusp of being released. So the installation steps may change a little bit. And obviously once this is released and it's out of beta, it's gonna be much easier to install. But for the time being, we need to install some development dependencies into our application. Laravel 7 supports both PHP unit 8.5 and above and PHP unit 9. But PEST itself requires us to use PHP unit 9. So we're gonna install that first. Now that we've updated PHP unit, we're going to also need to update our collision dependency. For those of you who aren't aware, collision is installed by default with a Laravel application, but collision is a beautiful error reporting tool. It gives us much cleaner output and much more focused error output when our tests do fail so that we can get right to fixing the test failures rather than pouring through lines and lines and lines of vendor stack traces. Next, we're gonna to want to install PEST itself. And lastly, we're gonna to want to install PEST into our Laravel application. This will create a test slash PEST.php file and a test slash helpers.php file, which we'll look at later on. But to make sure that we're up and running, we're gonna run PEST from our application now. And we can see that just like before, our tests are still passing. 